Christmas. Hello, hello there, Christmas. I hope everybody's okay. My speech is, how rewarding are you? How often do you reward members of your team? Do you regularly say thank you? Or do you, without meaning to, take people people's performance for granted? I hope not. And if someone in your team goes the extra mile, how do you go to make sure that they know that their effort is appreciated? Let's face it, if you are not rewarding people properly, when they work well with you, they are less motivated to work harder later. So, how can we make people feel appreciated, particularly these days when budget is tight? And uh, you have very limited financial ability to maneuver. So, let's take it up. Imagine this scenario. One of our team members work very hard to save financial, to save a significant amount of um, money for the company, and she was successful. So what, like for example me as a team leader, what I did was gave this member of the team turkey because the winter season is coming. So I gave her a frozen turkey. Of course, this member, okay, this is an actual scenario, for example, okay? So I gave her, like, for example, Visa. I gave you a frozen turkey. She, of course, would take it, and then she would put it in the refrigerator, in the company's refrigerator. I thought I felt good because I saw her really uh, happy because of the recognition that I gave her. But then, is she really happy? Did I consider the fact that she's commuting, this is only an example, she's commuting one hour by train going to and from work. So, without considering that fact, she will not, she actually will not appreciate it because by the time she gets home, the, the turkey is already like soggy and it's not anymore pleasing or, you know, it's no more um, palatable to eat, you know. So we should consider if our gift or our token of appreciation is really uh, something that will be relevant or will be um, uh, appreciative, or it can be appreciated by the recipient. So, although the idea of rewarding workers is by giving them uh, rewards, like it, it, it should not be uh, in financial or, or um, shall we say, material rewards. We can offer them uh, just a simple thank you, acknowledgement that they did a good job like a personal note addressing to them personally. And if you email a thank you note to that person, make sure that your boss, as a team leader, your boss is also happy. It is, it will be a very, uh, very uh, significant, more significant uh, appreciation for the receiver. Appropriately rewarding team members for something they have done, take some effort on your part. If you don't put too much thought into what you're doing, then you may just upset the very person that you are addressing your thanks. This is why sometimes it is important that we should sit down. As a team, we should sit down and talk with your members, like getting to know them personally, what kind of, of uh, personalities each of the members have. Like, um, if uh, one member is a, like, he, he is into arts, one member is into sports, 
one memories into um, something else. Then when we give rewards for their efforts, it is more uh, meaningful. It is more, um, you can appreciate it more. And then also, as a team leader, if you say thank you, it should be consistent. Like for example, on a month-to-month -month basis, you always uh, acknowledge the accomplishments of your team. And um, like for the next month, for this month, you say thank you. You acknowledge your effort. Even though there is really not much accomplishment, still you acknowledge their efforts. Then the following month, all of a sudden, nothing. You don't say anything. You don't even acknowledge what they have done for your team. So your me the members of your team will be like, oh, what did, I do? what did we not do right? What happened? What? Didn't we do anything for this month? So let's be consistent. And be specific. If we like uh, express appreciation of uh, somebody's work in the team, we should say why. What, what, what is that particular accomplishment that that team member uh, contributed? Um, it should not be vague like, oh, you did a great job. What job? We should be specific. Like, oh, um, that uh, journal entry that you did is really very good because you, you really um, put the, the correct a general ledger account and you research it on your own and you did not interrupt my, uh, you did not bother me to research about the correct uh, account to use. So we have to be specific so they know that you're really paying attention to what you're doing. And then know your people, as I have said earlier. Know the interest of your team members so that when you give the, the thank you gift, you know, it is something that she will really appreciate. And the reward will be relevant. Okay, so the key point in saying thank you is giving, giving thank you regularly, make the reward relevant, and it need not be extravagant. You know, just a simple, sincere gesture of saying thank you even is more, more valuable to the recipient. It need not be expensive. A simple, sincere thank you. <laughs> not like when you are passing through, you are in a hurry because you're going somewhere and you say, hey, thank you. You know, it's not sincere and cannot be appreciated. It can also be in the form of like make, giving coupons. Have you heard about uh, a coupon like um, a Monday coupon off that you can uh, give uh, to a team member uh, without using her or his vacation or sick leave. You can take a Monday off because of your a job well done. Or you can take your team out for lunch or breakfast. And then plus you can declare that the remaining day is off. It's the day off. See, it's there are so many creative ways that we can express our sincere thanks to our team members. And that is the essence of my speech.